What is up, Watch Fam? I am Christian from Theo and Harris. Happy Monday, uh, and welcome to Rant TNH. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about Tudor and a new release that's only a slight, uh, you know, difference from a, a standard you know, model. Now, uh, Tudor seems to be doing a lot of those. But before we get into that, a couple of a uh, couple of matters. Before uh, one wristwatch check, I am wearing a beautiful uh, vintage Gruen. It's got these yellow uh, uh, alpha hands, these flat alpha hands. They reflect beautifully. Uh, to me, it. I mean, it reminds me a ton of like a Petek Philippe Reference 96. It has that classic, reserved, uh, still kind of oddly beefy uh, uh, case that uh, that I think really just has a, a very kind of preppy, classic feel. Uh, I, I'm, I'm in love with this watch. It's a watch that we've had in the TNH Watch Shop uh, for a couple of weeks, and I couldn't be more proud. Uh, so do go ahead and check it out. Also, we've got five new incredible vintage watches, uh, Tudor, Rolex, Omega, and so many more, uh, hitting the vintage watch shop at theoandharris.com tomorrow bright and early, uh, so be sure to check that out, as well as our episode of In the Metal, uh, which is coming. And finally, we just published a new addition to our lookbook on theoandharris.com, uh, so check that out after this video. It's a lot of stuff, but I want to get it in uh, to you guys. Uh, lookbook's awesome. It's basically uh, beyond the 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 you know stock photos. It's actually photos of the watch on my wrist. These watches, these vintage you know Cartiers or, or Rolexes or Omegas on my wrist and in life. So I'm a really big uh, big fan of that series. So that's it. Now now we can get into two. Uh, and what they've done and, 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 and why I think that, you know, it's interesting, it represents an opportunity, uh, and why it's, in my opinion, a little bit better than the production model. Uh, so what happened? Tudor has released a second edition of their Black Bay Bronze. Uh, the Black Bay Bronze is basically the, the Black Bay uh, in, in, in bronze. It was released at least about a year ago, I believe, uh, in brown, with a bronze case and a brown dial and bezel. It was a cool watch. It caused quite a bit of a stir. Uh, a lot of manufacturers are using bronze these days, and Tudor was probably one of the more influential, you know, as of late. So, uh, I do like the watch, fundamentally. I think that the, the lugs are beautiful. I think the size at 43 millimeters is too big. Uh, I think it's, it, it has the aesthetic of a Submariner, but the size of a Sea Dweller. I mean, I guess they're not all that different watches, but to me, a 40 millimeter watch would make much more sense, and even a 39 millimeter more. But but my biggest kind of qualm with the whole watch was this this lack of complementary coloring. This this bronze case, brown bezel, brown dial. To me, it looked, it, it, I don't know, it, it looked very abrupt and, and almost just unappealing. The concept to me was very appealing, but the watch itself uh, wasn't as much. I love the idea of the, the fact that the bronze patinas. I think, that, I think the Black Bay as a whole is a great line of watch, uh, but this whole brown thing didn't do it for me. Uh, but now, they've released in collaboration with Boucherer, or Boucherer, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, uh, a, a Black Bay bronze, but with a blue bezel and a blue dial. Uh, this is something that Boucherer or Boucherer does uh, with many brands, uh, Jeje Le Coult, um, I mean, so many, I mean, Carl F. Boucherer, you know, they, they, there are plenty, I was looking at them, um, plenty of others, uh, I think Piaget, I'll stop naming them now, but uh, but they, they basically do these these blue editions of, of watches that are in production uh, because blue's their thing, and they've been in business for like 130 years now, uh, and, and 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 that's it. They they just they just like doing the you know, special edition watches in blue, and and they obviously have the pull to do it. So like I said, the beautiful thing here is it was a very simple edit. It keeps the fundamental appeal of the watch being kind of like an oddball bronze, really nice case, uh, obviously by a brand that's really hot right now, but it adds, in my opinion, a, a much more a complementary aesthetic, this, this this blue and bronze. It works much, much better. Now, there are two ideas I want to talk about, you know, in respect to this release. One, and the point is kind of moot, but Tudor is is very, just like, they're just entrenched in this idea of just creating, you know, different versions of the same goddamn watches, and I don't know about you guys, I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments below, but it's just getting old. Like, how many different variations of the same watches are we going to make? You know, they have the, the Black Bay 36, but now it's in 40. You have, you know, the Black Bay Blue, Red, Black, uh, Steel, the, the All Black, the Night. I mean, Tudor is becoming infamous for their frantic releases of the same goddamn watch in different colors. And to me, that cheapens the brand. And if you agree with me, like the video. If you don't agree with me, then just comment below. Don't dislike it, though. But, that, I mean, that, that's kind of where I see this company right now. A company that has huge legs to go up, and it's not that this is hurting it, Necessarily, but it's almost, I, I don't know, maybe it is. It's making it almost boring. The releases have less punch when they do come out because all it is is a new. 
color. And that's not it's this huge statement. I'm not trying to say that Tudor isn't a great company, but um, I'm not a fan of all the releases. To me, it, it cheapens the brand a little bit, but I do happen to think that this is a great one. Uh, I do think that this is a release that, that should very well be in the Tudor line. Finally, what's, what's really interesting, these watches are only being sold in Boucherie boutiques in Europe, uh, which represents a really interesting opportunity for people, Americans, who are traveling to Europe uh, to pick one up. Because not only can you actually snag something that no one else can you know, snag because they're not being sold on the internet, but you can get your VAT when you come back into the country, and I bet you can flip it for above retail. So not only are you getting your VAT back, but I bet you can demand some sort of a premium. So if you are headed to Europe, uh, I do think that it might be a good idea to pick up one of these watches and, uh, and flip it. Flip it to a dealer, flip it somewhere. Even if you go and pick up a couple hundred bucks, why not? You know, it pays for one or two of your dinners while you're on your European vacation. Uh, so that's it, guys. That's what Tudor is doing. Uh, it, it might be one too many, but this is actually the right release. I think it's quite nice. So if you do manage to get one, congratulations. Uh, and that's it. More importantly, do not forget to check out the new additions to the watch shop at theowenharris.com because although Tudor may be nice, vintage is better, period. Uh, check out In the Metal tomorrow, and uh, the link will be right below to the watch shop. That's it.